just want to know what we can do to bring all of our manufacturing back to America. Um, around me, I'm sick of all these cheap Chinese-made uh, dollar stores that keep popping up near my, in my neighborhood and around my neighborhood. Um, I think everything sold here should be made here. Um, thank you for everything you do, and God bless you. Well, thanks, Jeff. Let, let me give you a slightly different perspective. There are certainly strategic products we have to bring back, you know, cer certain microchips. I mean, I, I really blame the private sector for allowing these strategic products to be, to be manufactured in less than you know, perfectly stable geopolitical countries. You know, like all these chip manufacturings in Taiwan or South Korea, you know, for example. We've got to bring that back. We've got to bring back uh, pharma pharmaceutical precursor chemicals and the active pharmaceutical ingredients. But one of our problems, and you really, in my position, you see this all the time traveling around not only Wisconsin but the country, nobody can hire enough people. So we are going to have a long-term worker shortage. So bringing back high labor content products doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Only purchasing things made in America really doesn't make a whole lot of sense. You've got billions of people out there. There are a lot of products that are very high labor content. You know, let, let those people uh, increase their prosperity and sell us high-quality products at a very competitive price. I mean, that would be good for American consumers as well, and we can do it without depressing American wages. Okay? Again, economies are very complicated, but I don't think we should bring everything back, but we absolutely need to bring back a number of very strategic products. Uh, otherwise, we make ourselves very vulnerable.